Hello viewers, uh, welcome to Mojo for Industry and we are once again joined by Dr. Rashi Gupta, popularly known as Battery Valley of India. We are excited to talk to her about the uh, you know, uh, e-mobility future of India and what kind of vision she has for vision mechatronics. So for Dr. Rashi to start with, there is a kind of transition happening in the energy segment. Uh, how do you look, how do you see this as a movement? Or in, as far as Indian market is concerned? Energy is changing and there is a lot of transition and impact on clean energy. And India is changing. India is changing on multiple landscapes. Number one, it is changing in terms of uh, electricity. Number two, it's changing in terms of clean, clean energy in every aspect, in terms of cooking, in terms of cleaning, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, transport decarbonization of transport everything is coming together and when we have the collection of clean energies the transition will be taking india to be a leader in the clean energy transformation so for e-mobility definitely india will and is on the policy front on the uh, industry front each one of us is working towards making this a much newer and a better space now we have to also focus on the safety there is a lot of impact and uh, policy framework going on for safety so government is and everybody is working on safety right now so uh, when you talk about safety we had a discussion a few days back uh, at the session on uh, ev fire also and you spoke very uh, explicitly on the you know, actions to be taken from the different from from all the stakeholders to uh, uh, so do you see that there is a, something happening on that front because there are policies being announced but our uh, uh, battery manufacturers or rather the ev manufacturers are adhering to those standards and the policies see understand one thing uh, when new policies are implemented industry will take some time to adjust and adopt to them and to manufacture as per the new uh, norms so uh, of course now an extension has been given to the manufacturers to abide by this in the next three months but there's definitely we want to as an industry voice we want to make it safer for uh, for everybody who's looking for EV adoptions and definitely yes uh, there you will see more and more adoption of these policies because this policy is kept uh, is made by keeping in mind the consumer the manufacturer and the entire ecosystem so definitely there'll be more adoption. Like, you are actually traveling a lot and creating awareness in the uh, within the industry as well as for the global ecosystem of electric vehicle. How do you, where do you see Indian uh, uh, ecosystem compared to the uh, global markets? See, we are a very unique country and we are a very different country. So our leadership style and our working style will not be exactly same as the developed nations. Our needs are different. So what is happening at this moment is that whenever we uh, are looking at e-mobility, we have to look at mass mobility also. We cannot just go by the way Europeans or the Americans or the Australians or any other developed nation has been through that. So our journey is very unique and it is very Indian. And India is predominantly a two-wheeler market. So we will see a lot of change in the mobility, but it will come from a different segment altogether. Okay. So, for like last year also, this uh, time also you are actually uh, you know, uh, coming to REI and talking about uh, giving your, you know, sharing your knowledge on different aspects of uh, renewable energy as well as electric vehicle. So, what was your uh, participation, how was your participation this time and what are the uh, topics you covered? Last time and this time, the change is that we have opened up more after co post-COVID and uh, I, I can see a very good industry participation this year in REI and the footfall is also very nice. And it was great to meet all my old friends, industry friends and leaders out here at REI. And what I see is that the conference has played a very significant role, the topics are much better and uh, you know, the leaders are back actually at REI, so it feels very good and I think REI should keep continuing this way and do more and more better jobs. Dr. Rashi would like to understand from you as we started with that topic only that what is your vision for Vision Makertronics in the years to come? 
Vision Mechatronics has carved a niche for itself in the energy storage and EV space and we continue to do that. However, we will be looking in for more better deployments across the country for the EV. We will look after for a lot of contribution towards EV now. We have done a significant contribution in terms of the energy storage space and now we are advancing towards the EV space as well. So we will be expanding further and uh, our capacities have doubled and now we are going still further. We actually we serve all the best and would like to see that Vision Mechatronics is reaching the newer height in the years to come. Thank you so much, Thank Dr. Asi. So Thank you. Pleasure. Bye. For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.